Welcome to Oracle CX Marketing Help Center videos. In this video, we will cover how to send an API request and response to this. For this demonstration, we will be using Postman, a free REST client for testing APIs. We will also be using information from the Responses API documentation. First, we will need to get our base URL and authentication token. Depending on the system that hosts the Responses account, the endpoints could be one of these URLs. This is the rest of the URL. We also need to set our request method to post. We can enter those details into Postman here. Now, under headers, we must enter content-type as a key and set this application format as the value. Under the body tab, we can enter our parameters. Click this input type. We need to enter three keys and values here. We need to enter auth underscore type with the value of password, user underscore name with the responses account username, and password with your responses password. Now we can hit send. An authentication token and an endpoint URL will be generated. We will be using these for future requests. The endpoint URL is what you will be using for sending API requests. Let's create a new request and enter that as the beginning of our request URL. Next, we'll need to select the endpoint we want to call. To learn about all supported endpoints, refer to the API documentation for responses. For this demonstration, we'll use the Create a Profile List API to create a new profile list in our database. We can see the URL and the method we will need here. Let's add the rest of the URL and set the headers. Here, you can set the key to authorization and enter the authorization token you received. The authorization token will only be valid for two hours. If your token has expired, just use the same login request from earlier and get another one. We will also set content-type to application slash JSON as designated in the Help Center. For a post request, we will also need a request body that contains the information for our new profile list. The documentation contains a sample request body that can be easily copied into your own request. Just click this button here to copy it to your clipboard. Since we copied all of the JSON code, we'll have to set our body to raw text, clicking here. Now we can paste our request body. We can change any properties we want before sending. For example, we may not want a brand associated with this profile list, so we can set it to null. Now we can hit send. Success! We have created a new profile list. To learn about the properties returned in the response, refer to the Responses API documentation. This concludes our video on sending API requests. For more information, please visit our Help Center. Thanks for watching.